Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, um, we're just going to have a little look at some models that I painted recently um, on in the Bad Moons um, paint scheme, basically. Um, and just have a little bit of a show and a bit of a chat. Um, so, currently there is, in fact, in front of us, uh, 10 models of Orc boys. One of them's a knob. We've got one big shooter and the rest are shooters. So they are a squad of shooter boys, 10 of... Um, what I've done, so there might be a point where the lights may drop because they are precariously balanced, hopefully getting a decent show of the models. Um, what I've done here, <clears throat> well, I also brought another uh, model to show you the scheme in which I normally do them with an exception of, this one's not finished, uh, but it is pretty much the the way I normally paint. And I did do a different a a little, a little approach to this one. I think it's pretty much 10 times better. So normally all the only difference I would do with this is I'd probably put like a slight more layer of green on the skin. Excuse me. And maybe paint some more details, but that's pretty much what I would do for a standard orc boy or shooter boy. This one I got free. That's why he's got a khaki base um, and just randomly converted because I had an extra shooter kicking about. Uh, but just to show you the, the way I normally do orc boys, which is like um, the way I normally do it, is based on black. I then do um, Castellan Green and then either the Loren, Loren Forest and then um, the green, which I no longer have. It's like Snot Green, but the other one. It's like a layer, green layer pen. That's what, or Warp Stone or something, maybe, <coughs> with washes on. However, this time, what I did was I sprayed them all black. And then I did like a, so there's, there's a technique which um, Tabletop Minions' um, Uncle Atom says the rattle can uh, from above. However, I did a similar approach, but what I did was I dry brushed grey onto it and then dry brushed a white onto it, um, onto the very tops of it. So basically made sure that none, none of the under bits was dry brushed grey or very little. Um, and then you'll be able to see it way better on the back, but We'll talk about it in a second. Um, and then um, did the white on the very tops and then started painting. I did like a really thin coat, which I don't normally do. I normally just whap it on and um, mechanically thin it. As you can see here, uh, there's a massive difference in detail, I think. Well, I think so. So I'm not the best painter in well, but this is pretty good for me, to be honest. Um, there's probably things I could definitely do differently. Um, so for instance, I didn't paint a lot of details. The clothing is pretty standard. It's like they've got one uniform on with some extra bits on. I've painted some yellow and some gold details on some things and that's pretty much where I ended it um, <clears throat> from the dry brush. So whatever details they've got in is a dry brush barring the skin, the metal and the odd yellow detail, um, which sped things up quite a bit. So what we'll do is we'll probably just pick a uh, shooter boy at random. I'll say at random, basically that guy. Um, and as you can see on the back, uh, this is where you'll see the dry brushing technique coming through. So I don't even think I washed that. I think I just washed the detail back. So I washed the skin, the yellow and the metal and the teeth and the eyes if and when they were painted, but I didn't dry, I didn't wash the, um, the clothing. I just did. Yeah. Thank you. I just did a, um, Come on, focus, stop changing your focus. Thank you. Um, I just changed it to, no, good gosh. I just painted them bits. So as you can see, the, the eyes are done, the teeth are done. Um, yeah, so what I did was I used just the warp, uh, warp stone, whatever it is, to paint the skin. So I did a very light part and only painted like the, the top that I didn't go into the recesses. So the recesses where the muscles are, are shaded well, predominantly through the, the fats of the black undercoat with the dry brush of the gray and the white. So you can see slightly higher colors on the top than slightly. So you probably see the, cool. probably see the differences between here and here slightly that these are brighter and these are not. And then I went over with a different green. I can't remember which green it was. It's one of the game color greens, I think. Um, and then I picked some, put some white details on there, did the metal, that got a wash in normal oil, um, and picked up some gold details. So this is one of them. 
I think to be honest, it's pretty good. So if I bring up the other guy, if it's gonna if it's gonna focus. So obviously this guy was not finished, and there's still details I need to paint, but it's usually the technique I use. But I think that this technique is a lot better and it was relatively quicker. Well, obviously, no, I mashed that one straight on and it was really quick to paint. Um but is less effort put in, I suppose. Well, no, it isn't. That's not true. It's more brush strokes, but um, I'm putting less layers on, if you know what I mean. Like, there's only really two layers on that one, so we'll pick up another boy, we'll probably pick the shooter boy, the big shooter. Um, and he's obviously got the ammo being fed into it, and so obviously he's got a yellow glove on there. Um, he's doing a bit of a Michael Jackson. He's only got the one glove on. Um, and he's got his straps that are yellow, some metal painted on him. Um, he has the target painted red and his eye red and some teeth, um, which look slightly yellow, but I didn't even mean to do that, but that's kind of cool. Um, and a bit of a gold part there and a gold chain bit on his gun and the gold tip on the top of his targeter kind of thing. Um, and the bullets are gold as well. Most like little details of gold. We'll pull out another guy. We'll, we'll get one of the ones from the back uh, who that one maybe so this guy does seem to have a bit of a scar so all i did was paint a slightly more lighter color around the edges of it and obviously put a bit of wash he's got like a gammy eye so you can't see his eyeball that's why it's not painted um again he's got two gold bits on his guns um painted in the same way um and a metallic bit on his back so I could possibly have painted the trousers slightly different colour, but I thought the way I looked at it, I thought, well, there's th at least three colours. There's the metal, the green, and the yellow, and then the clothing is basically done. So as long as you're relatively neat, well, with the exception of, uh, of a little bit of mess here and there, you can close, and the, the clothes are really quickly done, and all you have to really do is the paint is the skin. So again, with this one, I did a couple more, like, I want to say edge highlight, but not really, but like highlighting the, the, the raised bits of the skin um, on the face and the lip is a little bit lighter. Um, the top of the face is a bit more lighter uh, than the other bits. So again, showing the the um, the white part there, the great, greatest high pipe part, and then a bit that sits underneath here, I kind of missed with the dry brush and again did a similar thing very very faint on the bits where the light would touch so imagining the light source is up here i just did everything that would touch it so everything underneath it would be hidden so for instance the bit just underneath this metal bit here um is kind of left undone um, I, I also painted the axe the power the big chopper um slightly gold in places and um i don't think i did any yellow on that one no and then we'll pull out another orc boy hopefully not one i've already pulled out already that'll be a little bit on the silly side. Uh, let's pick someone. But, but about, well, I've already picked that guy, I think, haven't I? So I'm not showing him again. Uh, we'll go for the one with the... So this one looks a bit like... So on the front of the Orc Codex for, I think... No, Space Wolves, third edition, I think it was. They had a, an Orc with this hat on. Um, so I like using it every now and again um, when I build a, an Orc model. Um, yes, so again, trousers, clothing. It's grey with a dry brush and the skin again and the eyes and the teeth are all painted pretty much yeah so um bad moons this was relatively easy to paint relatively i think i did it in one within one day so i had like the building um the priming which because i don't have any spray paint at the minute i literally primed them black with a brush and dry brushed and stuff. And then later on that night, I came back and put the skin on and the other bits, did a wash and then let that sit for a little bit until it dried. And then went back again the same night, oops, sorry, and put the rest of the details on and stuff. So it was done within a day. Um, I haven't based them. So the reason I haven't based them is rather naively, um, this goes on to the second part of the video. Um, I wanted to, I want to think of ideas that I can make money in the hobby therefore basically making the hobby um a way of earning money therefore maybe reducing the chance of reliance upon work and then in the long run hopefully that'll be lovely to um just have the hobby as my income however 
as unlikely, that seems quite unlikely, but I thought I'd give it a shot at least. Um, so what I've done is I've listed these as painted models above what you would normally pay on um, re uh, retail price, obviously, because I put a little bit more effort into them. I don't know, to be honest, I'm not really looking for rating. Um, I'm more looking for um, advice of what you would do differently. Um, and I'm also looking for advice on ways to make money. So ways to make money from my opinion, which I might do a separate video on this, um, would be to paint models and sell them, which is either commission painting or painting a set and then selling them for what you think they're worth. And if anyone buys them, then they also think they're worth that. You'd earn some money. Um, commission's sort of a, a mixed bag and not I've ever done it, but um, I've heard a lot of people don't do very well in that. Um, another way is to um, buy models and resell them and earn a profit that way, uh, which I have already done um, and am currently, are currently doing. Am currently doing? I think the word is am currently doing. And um, that seems to be going okay. Obviously, I've only just done one round of it. So the quick version is um, I spent £94 on about four or five listings. Um, I was able to split those listings into uh, six, seven or eight listings. Um, and I've already made like £10 more, so 100 and something. Um, off three of the listings and there's still other bits to go. Um, I did sell another one today, just passively whilst I'm at work, which is always a lovely thing, is you, you're you at work and you get a message saying you've just received 14 quid um, or something like that, just for the funsies. Um, so everything that I'm selling at the minute is currently profit minus these guys, because I did buy them and um, painted them up. So therefore, technically it goes against it, but separate experiment anyway. I'm also looking for other ideas with which to make money within the hobby. Anyway, so I suppose maybe we should make that for a separate video, even though I've kind of given the whole video away there. Um, this is basically Bad Moon Orcs. I see a lot of Bad Moon Orcs where everything's painted yellow drastically. Um, as in, like, the, 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 the helmet, the clothes are all fully yellow. Um, and there's, I mean, you could do that with another team, you know, do like less subtle and more subtle, as long as they've got a bit of yellowing. Um, I, I just see it as like, it, maybe it's a bit too much, but obviously each to their own. Um, most people might actually prefer it where they've got literally just the, um, where everything's utterly painted to within an inch of its life of yellow. And then there's a little bit of skin showing, maybe. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> tell me what you think. Um, in the comments down below and as ever yeah thank you for watching